Okay, hey you guys. So I'm back at the end of the collective message of the day. I think this is part four and I wanted to end this right here because... I gotta go inside and I gotta eat. I gotta do some stuff. I gotta look at my birth chart like I've been telling y'all. Uh, but I really want to talk about this defensive energy because this defensive energy is coming from, I don't know, because I was channeled this yesterday and I feel like this will help somebody because it's just like this defensive energy. I used to be so, so defensive. I still am defensive because I look at people that are here to attack me and this is an inner block this is why i want to touch on it so bad because it's an inner blockage within itself like i defend my position to people because i feel like people are always consistently coming after me but the root of the problem is because i feel like i always had to be strong and the root of that is because i never knew what that duality of strongness but also vulnerability we don't say strongness and weakness no strongness then also vulnerability okay because it, it takes a strong-minded person to be vulnerable. But it also takes vulnerability, you know, to understand when you have to be strong and when you can't be strong. But anyway, it's just the duality of it. But what I was just saying was like this defensive energy. We really have to get clear on why do you keep defending a position that God has already put you in? This is a problem within itself. Like if somebody is talking to you, like for me... I can know I do it personally with my mama because I feel like that she just is judgmental to me when in actuality all the judgment is coming from the judgment that I have within myself. I didn't understand it at the time that she was saying that, but now I understand it's all about the judgment and the negativity that I put out onto her rather than she's putting out onto me. So it's all about like, I think that she's still who she used to be and not who she is, one. And two, I still haven't gotten out of the habit of thinking so negative negative you know I, I i'm so used to my negative aspects and i'm so used to everybody being after 11 22 as i say this i'm so used to people being after me i'm so used to people not supporting me not giving the love you know not really being in my corner but that was the pinky when i didn't know myself that was the pinky when i didn't love myself that was the pinky when she truly didn't understand anything you know, that was the side of me that was really, really naive and really just didn't have no direction in life. So, of course, people are going to reflect that and people are going to reflect the negativity that I was taught. But as I grow to love myself and as I grow to become somebody and, you know, just become the goddess that I know that I am, then I have to realize people aren't doing anything to me anymore because I'm positive. I'm free. So the people that come to me at this certain point is not going to harm me because I'm not harming myself.